and welcome. So today we're going to install a new module, kind of an unusual one this time, it's called Noise. And surprisingly, there's some very interesting things you can do with this module. So let's put it in and see what it does. Okay, so this is our Q110 noise generator. Um, it has three outputs. This is pink noise. white noise and low frequency noise. Now one of the cool things about this is it has its own attenuator and if you'll remember when we were talking about the four channel mixer it only had three attenuators but it has four inputs. Well if you ran this into the fourth input now you have a fourth attenuator so four channel mixing. So, man, check out what this can do. And that's making a helicopter sound. So basically, the uh, I'm doing three different tones. The first one is the chopper sound, which is coming from our uh, Q110 noise generator. We're coming out of the pink noise, and it sounds like this. The filter changes the tone of it. So I start with it kind of bright as the helicopter is moving toward us. Also I noticed when I was listening to the original soundtrack that you could even hear the engine run. So I've decided to take these other two oscillators and just add what I would call some fake motor noise. Just a couple of different pitches underneath that. And then as the helicopter moves toward gets a little louder. But then for realism, you want the sound to change as it's moving by. So I decided to turn up the resonance down here and lower the, the brightness. Makes it a little choppier sounding. And then as it's going away, turn both of these down. And surprisingly, when you add the video, it really sells the sound. Okay, train sound. So basically this is mostly white noise, I'm sorry, pink noise from the noise generator. Uh, I did add this sound, these two oscillators running in low frequency mode, square waves, just to maybe make a track sound, wheels hitting the tracks, although I don't really hear that in the original recording, just playing around. But the main sound, of course, is the noise and not doing any resonance, just brightening it up as it gets closer, which helps. Okay, wind noise. Um, uh, that's basically no gating, just uh, amplifier open, noise coming through the filter, change the brightness. 
you notice right in the middle of that clip it gets really intense that's where you bring up the resonance kind of exaggerating it there but that's just straight up noise on that one okay so I reconfigured this to show that uh, how you can make drum sounds out of noise so we're only using noise as a tone source we're running it through uh, the filter and what's interesting is we're not gating the filter this time we're only gating the VCA with an envelope generator from the keyboard through our MIDI interface so if I open up the VCA the filter is just open it's not being gated whatsoever now the noise is going through the filter and I have the resonance all the way up so it has a kind of a howling sound you'll notice but here's what's interesting when you gate it sounds like drums if you had a sequencer hooked up you could create a rhythm a pattern and I did a whole video on how to do this uh, basically we're just taking noise running it through a resonant filter we're not gating the filter we have the resonance all the way up but we're gating the output of the filter with the VCA again another reason why VCA's are important okay so that was the noise generator that's a very interesting module next episode we're going to look at the slew limiter which is also called a portamento or a glide so we want you to be sure and come back and see that. We appreciate that y'all are coming and watching these videos. If you're getting anything out of them, hit the like button, share it with your friends, and we'll see you next time.